Good morning. So we're going to things a little bit different this week. Here's our load. We got some aluminum logs here at uh, Alcoa in Messina, New York. Um, obviously already strapped down. This platform is still not working. It's the point of having a tarping station. Um, so let's do a little recap real quick. Friday, uh, we sat in Pennsylvania all day waiting for a load. And that load never got to us. So we ended up deadheading back home um, and just said, screw it, we had enough. I had enough. Uh, so, uh, let's see. No, that was Thursday. Thursday I had enough, went home. Friday I went and bought the parts that I needed for the truck. Uh, that's brake linings, which came with hardware. Um, and the brake drums and I did all four back. I did all four of them on Saturday. Didn't catch any uh, any uh, footage of that but um, we did it. <laughs> I ended up buying one of them big truck tire uh, one inch impact air guns. Didn't even need it. I ended up returning it. We used a uh, half inch air gun boosted it up to the size we needed, put the 33 millimeter on there and she popped them right off, no problem. Uh, I am gonna stop at the Petro on the way out of here because I didn't have a torque wrench, I just tightened them up as much as I can. Um, so I'm gonna stop at the Petro on the way down. We are going to Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, and when I get down to the Petro, I'll have them, I'll pay them to torque up the tires real quick. Just to make sure we're good. Um, other than that, we gotta tarp this up and get out of here. Things are gonna be done a little different this week and we'll see how that goes and you guys give me your feedback and let me know what you think. So I'll show you the tarp in a second.
All right, there she is. All tarped and pretty. All right, guys. Let's uh, go check out the stupid vest off. So we have 818 miles to go. That puts us there at 9.15 tomorrow morning with our 10 hour break. We'll uh, change our ETA up a little bit. Instead of 9.15, we'll add a couple hours uh, between traffic and downtime and whatnot. So 11.15, I told her yesterday, one o'clock. So that gives us more than enough it's time to get delivered. To the left on the Sea 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 the Now that they uh, gave us our shortcut here, I'm really happy about that. I did buy, right here next to me, I bought these lights here, OTR, uh, LED, they're rectangle lights. I will be replacing them here shortly. Right now I have these big four inch four inch lenses, um, spotlight looking things that are on the side of the tractor and I'm going to pull them off and I'm going to replace them with the LED. Uh, one, it does help a little bit in really dark areas for backing up. Um, but the main reason I want them on there is for loading. So if I'm loading at night or unloading at night or or uh, doing anything with the tarp or straps or anything like that, I can have those lights on there and be able to see a lot more. And not that it's going to help dramatically with the um, with the aerodynamics, but it, it'll it'll probably cut down a little bit, if any. I, I don't know. I mean, it's. It's a lot more narrow. I don't have these things hanging out here. It'll be a lot more closer to the truck, so. My thoughts is it'll be more aerodynamic. looks sexy. I'll show you guys real quick. Look at that thing. She's a beauty. We are off. 817 miles to go. Uh, we're going to be going down to Syracuse, taking 90, 90 out to Ohio. Uh, actually, 90 out to Toledo, and then we'll be cutting down down from there going down to uh, Lafayette. I, I can't think of off the top of my head what, what route that is, but I hope everybody has a good Monday morning. Stay safe and we will see you later.